Yeah, I know what you mean. I think I had some players in there too. Oh, you definitely did. Uh, the pistol drinker was up there. Oh snap. And I think, uh, Lincoln had all the touchdowns he had. Yeah, I had a crazy game with them the last game I played. Uh, we surfed an ogre. That was fun. <laughs> Um, I served so many players that game. He had two dudes on the pitch at the end. Uh, shoot. I guess I'm going to stream this uh, and post it in the Discord real quick. stream is trash, so might as well, because mine is garbage. Alright. I think part of that also has to do with uh, those PlayStation download servers. They're kind of trash. Some games take forever to download. Yeah, that, that could be as well. Because uh, I usually get anywhere from like, uh, on like a bad day I get like probably 60 down, but I'm usually getting like 100 down. Yeah. Uh, and like the like a one gigabyte update will take like an hour sometimes. Yeah. Time to put all that trading and knowledge to the test. May nothing bless your blockade, guys. Alrighty, we get to see the mysterious coin toss. Welcome back to Cabal Vision HD. Ooh. Here come the girls. <laughs> the full bless those bouncing pop Elves excel at the passing. You've got to disrupt them as much as possible. Yep, by sticking something hard right into their teeth, for example. Like your fist. That's probably what I would have done anyways. All three of my linemen have the same face, and two or three of them have the same face. Oh yeah. I'm already regretting my decision. I should have kicked. But we'll just see how this goes. Well, you'll probably bash me into oblivion, so it's Yeah, I have a healthy amount of guard, that's for sure. 
Yeah, admire your restraint on your Chaos Warriors. I could never go block then. Guard, I had a hard enough time giving them block. <laughs> Mighty Blow and Claw, pile on, baby. And then, or they roll doubles and find uh, access to agility so they give them jump up. Fuck's sake, it's okay, jump up. Right, I know that feeling though, like, sometimes it's hard not to build boring teams, but with these guys I was just like, alright, I'm gonna build them as boring as possible, because I'm gonna play them for three seasons, so. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'll take that. I was so, I was so ready for it to be a, a broken neck, you know, because he just so yeah. happens to be my agility five blodge piece. So let's get him off the, let's get him off the off the pitch as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> oh wow, he is. Yeah. I just got a full suite of linemen, like, in the last week. <laughs> like, I've, I've been using journey linemen for the better part of two seasons, because I've never, even with, like, eight players on the pitch, I'm still giving up, uh, God, how much did I give up in, uh, I think I gave almost 380,000 in, uh, in two spins last game. Still oh, wow. Still five to one. Yeah. Right. I can't remember what he bought. I don't know if, oh, it was, it was an expensive player. It was like a player that had all these crazy abilities that was super expensive, but luckily, uh, it wasn't, like, he didn't do anything with him. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't hurt me at all. <laughs> That's good that he... Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, Journey Elves are not that detrimental to, like, a, to, especially Pro Elves, it seems like their dudes are pretty solid. Yeah, especially if you just use them for just use one line to take punches. You're not going to develop any yeah. affinity for them anyway, because we're just going to die. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like well, it. I like your your respect for the reroll is worth more to you than the. Uh, I like it. Yeah, that was kind of the mentality behind the cage. I was like, well, it won't be that bad. the wrong one with guard is on. Couldn't be the guy who's double blocks that has guard on the Chaos Warrior so I can get that one die without having to do uh... Him. Right, let's, get, let's get him right all up in there. Let's get the fuck out of here. Excellent. Oh, wow. I like to start. I like to start my turn off with a healthy one. Let's get that stymie special out of the way. Okay, good. Oh God. Okay, good. Okay. That's that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. Uh, we both failed some AG4 stuff. I wish I could say I'm surprised. Ooh, sidestep. hesitated to buy that third reroll because I'm like, man, my guys are usually pretty good. I don't really need them. I don't, I don't feel a lot of agility actions with them. Alright. Tough guys. Well 
done. They have the ball now. So far, so good. Dodging out of the way rather than blocking. Who? No, Joe. Hey, yo. Run later. That's always been my. Of course. Just keep right up with some rags to riches. The less defenders there are around the ball, the easier it's going to be to move. Attacker has an assist. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Side step and dodge. Color me shocked on that one. That was even a thing. Bring in the heat. This 
focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. Could I get any shittier bounce? Seriously. Get there, you useless bitch. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I love how I'm not even failing the the things that require two, threes, and fours. I'm failing. Wow. Wow. I wish I could say I'm surprised, but like it couldn't, couldn't, couldn't go the other way, so it was just free and clear for me to scoop up. I wouldn't matter. I would have failed the dodge anyway, so I suppose that's irrelevant. Ooh, still in a tough spot, though, even for me. Steps gonna At also complicate time. things. Okay. Not that complicated. Unity is strength. Oh, very dull. One of them should hit harder next time. These are intense. I don't know what's what's the deal with it. It's like every turn.
to scoop up that ball and quickly. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Oh, you won't roll a one. You won't roll a one on a fucking pickup. Can the player force possession away from the ball holder? More favorable fucking bounces every single fucking time. Yikes. Can't even put people on the ball or they're gonna get fucking surfed. the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, okay. Close and personal, Bob. Hmm. Need to be close. Smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Shit. There we go. Yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. Apparently, wizards call that kinetic energy. The player's taking the ball. The end zone is close. Oh wow, that's an easy dodge out. Dang. I forgot about agility four.
They're going for the ball. It was high. Not far from the end zone. Ooh. Big brain play. Freeing up the catcher. gives them a safe progression. It's going to be hard to make them lose the ball. to be decisive. The carrier himself... Come on, man. man. Fucking... Gonna put me down as a fucking pal, and you just get it no problem. No Oh man. Ridiculous! This game is so fucking ridiculous. Now the ball's gonna go out of bounds. Hopefully. Oh, don't worry though! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh man. Well, still very pick upable. Oh, there 
Yes. Don't worry. Coin slip and I'll get the one. Don't worry. Oh, man. Don't worry. He doesn't have sidestep, okay. Something exciting is about to happen. Keep it here on Cabal Player open in the enemy end zone. He's either waiting for the ball or abusing the fan. Probably both. Oh boy. If the player remains unmolested, they could sprint into the end zone. Of course, that's quite a big deal. Oh, that was luck. That a whole drive. I'm just gonna pass the turn so long as I just hurry up. Oh. I'm trying anything. I'm not trying to get any block actions without rerolls in my pocket so I get a fucking lose another player going into halftime. Hold on, I'm actually gonna go ahead and like halfway set up my defense for next turn. One of your dudes for an SPP pass. Oh shit. Touchdowns are coming. The studio wizard has promised me at least one more before the final whistle. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> The fool is not kind. No. I can't believe he gave me that chance with that friggin' power stumble too. And then, and then the ball goes out of bounds and then goes right back where it was. Yeah, that one was was pretty lucky on my part.
that there are all Skaven leagues played in great caverns underground. The teams are backed by the powerful greater clans, so you have clan Skyr teams, clan Eshin teams, uh, and so on. Uh, you lost me after Bob. Jim, don't talk to me for the next few downs. Oh no. That player's a little short. Oh no, my mistake. He's Turnabout's fair play on the throw of rock. that offense. <laughs> Players arrive to assist their teammate. to help his buddy. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> the attacker has an assist. Smells like a good old fashioned fight. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? This is ridiculous. It looks oh, wow. Ball goes long. Isn't there some chance it's parallel? Oh my god. What? How does it have an intercept chance? It's parallel! What? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Because the, the ball... How did, how did he have an intercept chance? The ball still He's... travels through his tackle zone. Like, right in front of your guy there. So it's still a chance.
Oh, the cats. What's up, Cozy? Like I can't get a four plus on a on a on a throw, but you can get a fucking six on a fucking intercept. Oh, now you're blitzing my fucking. Uh, that's real classy. What can you do against a full speed horned? Oh. Oh. Oh man. I mean, I didn't mean to make him upset. They're building a cage around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Oh, 
Hold on. Uh, did not see this game going this way. in number. This is going to be decisive. This player likes to be well assisted in fight. to get punched above and below the bed at the same time. So just pass some turns. Some friends. That player went down like a sack of nothing unmentioned. After that match. That was a rather eventful 2-0. Take over, Bob, while I... Quick constitution. Yeah, do your constant whatever somewhere else, Stinky. Bit local by playing matches with nearby opponents. Or you can select a coach to play against from anywhere in the world. Yes, even Lustria. Alrighty. Doing a little bit of math on my MVPs here to see. So he had eight, he'd be at twenty-nine. B 
be a 25. Potentially. This new high destiny feed is crystal clear. Rolling MVPs and like we got a three so Vorvos my three MVP choices were Gogoi, uh, Grammy Smite and Vorvos so it looks like we'll have a Beastman skill this time around maybe should look into getting a few more skills on these guys but on the Chaos Warriors but these guys are a little under level need a little more block or guard or tackle or something on this side too so, with a Chaos, uh, or with a Beastman getting a level up, that'll help team development. Maybe get some more tackle. Two tackle pieces could be nice. Maybe look up, get another uh, stat up of some sorts. That's going to be another win for us here in MVP in week three. Uh gonna set our overall record to 2-1-0 and oh. so that'll move us up the leaderboard a little bit there after being 1-1 one, one. Um, may see us in uh, potentially in a top spot now uh, yeah actually that would put us in first place because first place is 2-0-1 oh right now I'm 2-1-0 and oh. so at least we'll tie for first place after week three. Uh, still a lot of Blood Bowl to be played, five more weeks, but still a good little advancement there. Um, don't know our next opponent just yet because it's uh, that Swiss format, but uh, if you tuned in, thank you for doing so. I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, NBP action. Uh, this is the first week of the competition uh, for week three. It's a two-week cycle, so we'll have a week off next week. Um, maybe get some uh, GFCL in in the meantime. Speaking of GFCL, let's go check out that team for a minute. Former MVP team here. Going to be playing Swole. That's uh, the team that we play there. If the round for GFCL gets advanced see ourselves playing Valerian Steel pretty soon. Did you know that the um, new Cabal Afro Chef and his Dark Elves? Like from all that will probably be next week or later on this week. Um, so back to MVP. Let's check out some of these other teams while I'm on stream here. Looks like we got that one. Only two games played so far, so Park Life is definitely in the top uh, with their 2-0-1, but we'll see them fall to second place at least, maybe a little further depending on how uh, Hail Marys or um, Turf Pirates do uh, in the shadows and 
we're here. Vampire and Chaos Dwarf team, respectively, have cemented their fourth and fifth spot, though. They've played their week three game. Let's see. Um, 0 and 2 is the bottom of the uh, leaderboard. Moving on up to 20 through 14 is kind of a mix of stuff there. A little few losses sprinkled here and there. Uh, once again, though, there's still a lot of Blood Bowl to be played here in MVP. This is a tentative list of the postseason. Um, but we'll tune in uh, next time to uh, see our matchups and who we're going to be going up against. The way this Swiss format works out, we'll probably be playing some of these other two win teams. Um, so we're looking at Orcs, more Elf Union, potentially Chaos Dwarfs. Um, and then whoever else out of these 1-1 one -one teams that decide to grab a win this week. So, very, very high possibility of Dwarves, uh, regular Wood Elves. Well, we played Dwarves last week, uh, Bag of Chodes, so we won't go against them. Um, undead, potentially, possibly Skaven. So, quite a spread here of who we may face. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.